How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you the absolute easiest five BMX tricks that require essentially no skill at all on a bike. Um, these are very, very basic, so you really don't have to know any other tricks before this, and you should be able to learn these and get a little more bike control, that way you can progress to work on other tricks. The first thing I'm going to teach you how to do is how to get your bike off the ground when you drop it a cool little fancy way. So, this is a really easy trick. So the first thing that happens, your bike falls. The only thing that you need for this to work is you need your back tire to be off the ground. So if it falls like this, it's not really going to work. So say it falls a little more like that. That's perfect, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to kick down here, and this will raise your bike up off the ground. It's not really doing it right now because you have to do it really fast, but it'll kick it up, and then it'll throw the handle up, and all you have to do is catch the handle, and it looks really cool. So here, I'll show you what it looks like real quick. Just like that. Super easy. Sometimes you're, it'll never really be the same like every time you do it, but it's really easy to catch. And you, I would watch out, you don't want to stomp too hard on your back wheel because you could bend it. But if you have a strong wheel, then you should be good. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be teaching you is a fun little um, thing that I found. Whenever I first started riding, a lot of people put foot down by me. And I don't know, for some reason, people would start doing this, even though it didn't really help, but that's how I saw it. What you're going to do as you just ride around, you stick your leg over the frame and then push yourself forward with that front leg. So I'll show you real quick. So as you can see, this trick is so easy. I learned this, I think, first couple tries I ever tried it. And I guarantee you, you will too. All you have to be able to do is ride your bike with one foot on your pedal. So how you get into it is you just start rolling. You don't want to do this um, at a standstill because you won't be able to get up, but you can. It just makes it a little easier to learn it rolling forward. So you'll start rolling forward and then you'll move one of your hands off the bars and then just make sure you stay going straight and you'll kick that leg over. I'm going to do it rolling so you can see it. And then once you kick it over, you'll stand up and then grab back onto this hand. So kick it over, put your hand on, stand up. So once you do that, then you're gonna stand up and put all your weight on your um, back foot, which is on your pedal. And then if you wanna slow down, you can just like kind of push your foot into the tire and that'll slow you down a little bit. Or you can just start pushing yourself forward, which will give you some momentum. And then pretty much you just turn the same way as normal, You'll, your weight will just be a little further forward. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a really essential thing to learn pretty early on at BMX and if you do it'll help speed up learning other tricks just because you'll have a little more bike control than most people normally do if they don't learn this early on. All it is is a double tire ride so you'll just find something really narrow and just ride straight across it. Being able to find like your balance point on it and if you start moving knowing how to like correct it will really help in learning tricks because if you do like get a little off balance you'll know like what movement to make to get yourself back on balance. So all you're going to need for this is either like a parking lot with a really long line or something like that. And then once you can do it just like on a line, you feel comfortable, comfortable enough doing that, find a curb to do it on. A curb is the best thing ever to learn it on. So like sidewalks are perfect for this because like whenever there's like a little like wheelchair ramp or something going up, the curb slants down so you could ride up that and then ride on the flat part of the curb so you don't know, have to, you don't have to know how to bunny hop or anything you can just ride the, up that. But then once you do want to have a little more control and say you do know how to bunny hop, you can hop up on the side of them, you can hop straight onto them. So I'll show you a few examples of that real quick. Okay, so where I'm riding at doesn't have really the best conditions, but even if it is something like this, where there isn't really like a roll up ramp or if you don't know how to bunny hop, you can always start rolling on the side of it. If it's something like this, if it's grass, you can start pedaling on there and get a little bit of speed and then get onto the curb and ride it like this. As you can see, there's essentially no risk to trying this trick. If you start leaning too far one way, all you have to do is roll off the curb and that you won't get hurt doing that. Or if you go off the other side, you're just landing in grass. 
Okay, so if you can learn the bunny hop on, that'll really help with other tricks like Smiths and stuff because you'll know exactly how to put your front tire down whenever you're landing. The next easy trick that I'm going to teach you is called riding crossfoot. So essentially you stick your right foot on your left pedal and your left foot on your right pedal and you just ride like that. A lot of people will do like crazy stuff with these later on, like 180s with it. Only recommend doing that on a free coaster and like tail whips out of it and stuff like that. It's really crazy and it's, it's not really hard but it's a little weird to get used to. So all you have to do to do this is I recommend doing it like start it rolling because you're not going to be able to start pedaling cross legs because you can't really pedal like that. So the easiest way to do this is if you have pegs. If you don't have pegs, you're going to kind of have to do a little bit of jumping. I'll show you getting on with pegs and then I'll show you getting on without pegs. So with pegs is first. Okay, so all you have to do is stick your back foot on your peg, stick your left foot on, and then cross your other foot over and you're there. So it doesn't really matter which foot is in front, it's just whichever is most comfortable for you. Alright, so without pegs is going to be a little more difficult. You're going to have to kick your foot over, kind of running side saddle, and then you'll hop off. You'll have your other, your right foot right here, say you're going on your left pedal, and you'll hop off with your left foot and then put your right foot right there, and then you'll just cross your foot over and put it on the other pedal. I'll show you. So have your frame, hop, switch. There you go. And that's how you do it if you get really good at it. Okay. So, and then there's obviously the last way of you can just hop and cross your feet over if you're comfortable doing that, but that's definitely a lot more advanced and you can kind of hurt yourself doing that. All right, so this, for this trick, I definitely recommend wearing jeans or some shin guards or something just in case if you are doing the hopping. If you're just doing the peg, like step over thing, you're probably fine. Um, and then to get out of it, you can just kind of do it the same way you got on, or you can just step off, or you can hop up and cross your feet back over. It's really up to you. It's a really easy trick, um, and it'll help you get a little more bike control. Okay, and then the last really easy trick I'm going to teach you is how to ride side saddle. So, obviously, if you don't know what that is, it's when you have both of your feet on one side of the bike, kind of like people do riding horses. So all you have to do is start rolling. I prefer sitting down to do this. So you'll sit down and you'll kick one leg over and you'll just start riding like this. You normally think like, okay, there's not much to that, but there is quite a bit you can do. Um, here, I'll show you a few examples. Like you can kick your feet flat out. You can essentially like lay down sideways almost. And like you can do quite a few things that look pretty cool. I'll show you. Plus the other cool thing about it is if you need to stop, you can just step out of it like that. And it looks really smooth. So if you have to stop, like you're kind of hauling butt somewhere and you need to come to a stop and say like, you just want to ditch your bike and just take off running. If you do that, you can just drop your bike and then just go off in stride. If you have a cassette, this works a lot better, but you can pedal yourself with your cranks. Uh, there's so many other things you can do with that. Like that's just a few of them. You can get really creative with that and do pretty much anything you want. Um, another thing you can actually do that in is fakies. If you have a free coaster rolling backwards, you can just sit down and kick your legs over, which is a lot of fun too. Right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Um, I definitely think these are the easiest five tricks you can do that'll help you progress a little bit, get a little bit more bike control so you can go on to learn more tricks. Um, if you want some tricks to learn after this one, I have another video that I will link down in the description. It's um, the easiest five BMX tricks to learn. I'd say they're a little more advanced than this. They include like a little bit of bunny hops and stuff. So if, you have, if these are a little too easy for you, I definitely recommend to go on and try those. And if you can do those, then you can move on to other stuff like 180s and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If y'all have any other questions or I forgot to mention something about these tricks, or if you just like, have never tried these, and let me know what you think of them. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.